Pandos and Corona. Who is going to win? The Corona is everywhere. I've been talking about it for weeks now. People were ridiculing me, laughing at me, trolling me. Uh, but some people took me seriously. Here's the condocorona.com website I put together for you. And that's a 30-day condo supply list. You just hit this here and you get the PDF. You don't need to register. If you want to get the updates, sign here. If you want to see the video, scroll down. This is the government of Canada. This is about a week or 10 days ago telling you to start stocking up. And people this week can actually have start stocking up. And here are some quick searches. It will take you to some Twitter tags. So Yossi Kaplan here, my friends, Toronto Real Estate Asian Mortgage Broker, Research Realty Search Mortgage. And today I'm going to talk to you about the effect that the corona uh, may possibly have on our economy, especially on the real estate in Toronto. Um, is there anything we can do about it? How to calculate it? And so on. So let's get right into it. Condacorona.com. Download the PDF. Click this link here. It's going to bring you to Dropbox. You don't need to register. It's completely anonymous. You can see I'm not signed in and you can just download it or just hit it and look at it on the site here. It works from your cell phone here. Just click the download, say direct download and you get the file. And this file will give you basically the very basic supplies that you need or at least what I what I need. Uh, and it, it, it has a lot of uh, dried foods, the cans, at least 18 cans per person. Uh, that is in case that you cannot cook, there's power out, or you don't have water or power, whatever. Uh, and then there's dry foods you can cook, and these dry foods are usually the highest pack in nutrients, energy that you can find. Uh, it includes a lot of lentils, chickpea, black bean, other grains, coconut oil, grapeseed, tahini. Uh, everything is plant-based here with the exception of honey. I think there's a honey somewhere here. Uh, and the second, uh, the second bulk here, this is mostly for cleaning supplies, sanitary supplies, and so on. And there's a supplementary list that one of my friends made, uh, and it's a bit more uh, detailed. And these lists are personal lists that we made for ourselves and our families and our friends. You're welcome to use them. There's a disclaimer. It won't save you, but it gives you a good start. And you can go to the website, Con the Corona, and that's where you get the information. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Um, Another thing I saw this weekend is Lysol Clorox, lightly effective in killing COVID-19, and bleach always kills everything. It says someone down here, bleach, bleach kills everything. So get a bunch of bleach, get some, uh, get some spray bottles, mix it up a bit with water, and there you go. And just clean everything. You know, I don't leave the home now without having a hand sanitizer in my pocket. Uh, the best thing to do is just use some alcohol. And some oils you can buy one I, I just make my own okay uh, this is the tracker so when you go to the condo corona site um, at the bottom there's quick searches and these searches will take you to live real searches on Twitter so coronavirus that's the first hashtag here it comes with the top okay so these are the top kind of give you an idea what's going on you can also hit the latest okay I'm obviously interested in the, in the coronavirus Canada tag. So once you hit that, um, the first one that still comes, it's funny, the, the chief public officer uh, comes first and we will know in, in a few weeks if that chief public officer and if the government, our government, any government have done the right thing. Um, have they gave us the right information? Were they prepared? Once they heard about it, how do they prepare? Um, how long did it take them from the time they heard it to the time of preparation? All these things are going to come to light. And I wouldn't be surprised if there would be some investigations regarding this, okay? Um, there is a tweet here that says, here, this is really interesting. It's from February 23rd, so it's over a week ago. Can someone in Ottawa take this seriously already and shut down all flights and not allow anyone from key area, China, Korea, and Iran from entering Canada? We're literally flying this in, okay? I'm going to skip this, the political stuff, but this is, this is, this is true. Um, and can, can you fly? I actually went to Expedia and you can actually fly to Shanghai today. Um, these are not direct flights. There's all kinds of bounce around, but you can actually fly. That means that there are planes flying in and out of China and the same planes or Iran or wherever you want. And so basically you, that maybe the company will tell you we're not flying to Iran anymore, but if any charter company chartered one of these planes that was in Iran or in China or anywhere there's a high Italy high risk of infection and that plane goes back into a route which serves the rest of the world 
And as far as I know, these planes are not being fumigated, they're not being cleaned, they're not being, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, but they have to be completely clean, top to bottom, okay? And that probably doesn't happen. I think we're going to see a lot of flight crews getting sick. Hopefully not, but, you know, it's, it's, it's look what happens in Italy, okay? So that, that's a real risk. So if you fly, you know, the government of Israel was the first one to tell the citizens, just don't fly. Just do not fly. And a lot of companies around the world in Israel, because I follow the news there, they just tell people, just stop flying. Just do not fly. So it's finally happening in Israel. They've done it for about two weeks now, which is really smart. Um, it's easier for that small country. You know, it, it doesn't really have any international borders. You have to fly in anyways. Um, so it's easy for them to lock because all around, you know, you can't go anywhere. Doesn't matter. Um, but that's, that's really what you see. Um, so... <sighs> It's a problem. So, Dr. Teresa Tam, uh, I, I hope uh, I hope they're doing the right thing there. I hope they're getting the right information. I hope the politics is not getting in the way of making sure that everyone is uh, safe and healthy. Okay. So, we talked about the Lysol. This is the this is the world meter. So, if you want to track this thing, you go here and there's a coronavirus trackers. This is very very important information. All this all this coming from condocorona.com. Just go to the bottom. When you track, it basically runs a Google search and it'll give you all these updates. There's very, very there's many updates. This is one that I just showed you so about 90,000 cases. Now these are documented cases. Um, do you really believe that Iran Iran has something like 5% death rate but we know from China the death rate is 2% so is it possible that the death rate in Iran is higher or is it possible that it's it's a higher rate percentage wise because they're just not telling us or they don't know how many people are really sick. So the real number, it should not be 1,500 for Iran. It should probably be 15,000 or maybe more. And that places it second to China. Now, I don't know how it got to Iran. Um, we know China is probably was not a bat soup. That's just a, that just a story tale for children. Okay, that was something completely different. If you really believe it came from a meat market, uh, just because it developed an animal, we should have a talk, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know. Okay, so these are the uh, these are the tags. This is Yossi Kaplan, by the way. Twitter.com says Yossi Kaplan. You know, if you disagree with me, it's totally fine. Uh, put your comments below. It's totally fine. We're here to work together. Uh, this site I cannot even manage. Uh, I cannot even mention the name of the site. They're banned from Twitter, and they're banned from uh, everywhere. But they seem to have a lot of updates that you know. S s oh, some of you will find uh, controversial. Um, but, you know, if you're only consuming your media from the mainstream media, if you're only consuming your news from mainstream news, you already know by this point that your news is filtered very, very heavily. And this news site is slightly less filtered. And, again, I don't care for the politics, right, left. It, I'm not bothered by it. I'm not part of right or left. I don't care. Um, what I care is for the truth. What I care is for what's going on. And it, it's true to condos. And these days it's very, very important to work together as a community. And this is why I'm making this video. Uh, the French are getting a high rate of corona. Uh, Gothic, that's a doctor that I've, I think I've mentioned him before. And he says low low thousand. So this is for today, March 2nd. Second uh, U.S. death report in Washington State. Gothic warns. BMW letting people home. Jordan, France, U.K. It's everywhere, okay? 60 countries, maybe more. Two Amazon employees in Milan. Imagine what happens if you go, you know, in Korea, there's a church that everyone went to the church and apparently got infected there and they weren't reporting it. Here's a map. There's, there's a lot of trackers. Here's a map. Uh, you, you can see the U.S. Is, is open now. Is that because the U.S. is so large and they just hasn't gotten there? Or is that because they don't know they have the problem or they can't test for it or they know and they're not telling us? We don't know. We just don't know. But what the one thing we know is, as private people, we have to take matters in our own, own hands, and we have to be responsible for our own lives, for our own finances, for our own everything, and especially for our own community. Okay, and this is the real message here. You got you to gotta help each other. We got to stick together. Everyone has to work together. Okay? Uh, I found this boston.com, and, and this makes sense. It says, coronavirus ma may have spread undetected for weeks in U.S., if that is true, if that is true, that means that everything we see now in Washington State in these two deaths uh, probably got infected at least three weeks ago because it takes time to get infected and then you get sick 
and you know you don't die overnight uh, sadly people die thousands of people now um, and no it's not like the flu you know for these people who are still th saying oh it's like the flu well if it's like the flu why are we wearing the mask and doing the hands and not flying that, that it just doesn't make any sense it's something a lot a lot more serious than this and we don't even know where it came from we don't know if it was engineered we don't know if it's like how come like nature suddenly gave this to us or maybe it's man-made nobody knows so far well maybe some do but we we definitely don't all right so you know the news is all over the place and and the big question here yossi kaplan real estate this is the youtube.com slash yossi kaplan by the way and i've made a couple coronavirus videos i think two so far this is the one uh last thursday or friday and there's the one with the guys from the boats wherever they are they're out now uh so when you go to condos.ca 860 a foot so this is a pretty high number i think we've seen 870 maybe 880 the last few days mind you it only tracks the last 14 days um so nonetheless you can see here now they're tracking 1344 sales in february at 869 a foot and now it's showing 860 that's you know whether it's 869 or 860 it just shows a very very high number of dollar per foot in the gta and to me that number is not going to come down because of coronavirus and the reason is is because everyone is assuming this thing will be over sooner or later we'll find a way to overcome it and once we come a way to overcome it and you know we're looking at maybe weeks or months maybe vaccine will take a year or two but as we know if the virus is uh, being killed by the sun and by heat because proteins you know they're destroyed by heat that's why if you're health conscious you never cook your food you never burn your food because it kills the protein so um, you know if, if this what happens then you just want to stay home and not go to the large conferences and, and be sure where you go be safe about that wash your hands all that stuff but you can see here we're way way past any other record as a matter of fact uh, that's June 2019 and then you know like 2019 was very very close to 800 and now we're we're at 860 I've seen 880 so that's that's eight percent just from that number I showed you but 12 percent year over year um, I was calling to tw 15 to 20 no what did I say I think around 15 percent 12 percent a percent a month we're still looking at a percent a month even though that's going to slow down a bit that's not necessarily a bad thing because I think it's better to have the the appreciation go a little slower you know if inflation is only two or three percent a year do we really need that stuff to go up so quickly um if you look at the stock market you know it, it goes up so fast uh, so no wonder well, let me show you something here and the stock market is going up so fast no wonder why it needs to they're going back up again in all reality you want this thing to go a little slower because it just went up so so fast uh, here's some of the tech stuff so let's look at uh, year to date YTD you can see there's a big drop this is one year but we're still way up we're still way way up and let's look at five year look how up we are so if you're yelling oh my god the stock market is up down <laughs> you know that hump you're looking at was a crazy crazy hump i mean there was tesla and there was a lot of the um tech companies and they just go up like crazy and the pe ratios are just inflating so much so it wouldn't be in my opinion and that's my absolute subjective personal opinion it's not necessarily that bad to slow it down a bit i um, you're seeing an expansion of everything in the world there's expansion of profits there's expansion of value there's expansion of volume and maybe an event a global event which we don't really know in our lifetime we don't really know that kind of global events it's the first major major global event especially since internet in 1995 kind of mozilla firefox and it came into our lives in 95 it's it's 25 years ago believe it or not uh doom has been around for 20 years so you can see here we're way way up and if you look at the max you know the stock market has to go up now here you're looking at crazy inflation uh, but here the rates are very very low here you had rates of maybe 12 percent maybe more here the rates are only two to four percent so <laughs> when the rates are up you expect it to crash after and that's exactly what it did uh, when the rates are very down you expect it to keep going up 
So you can claim that there's there's a bit of artificial um, thing here because when the rates, the money is basically free. If you borrow money at two or three or four percent, that's free money. If you borrow money, free money, you can spend more and more and more. Therefore, you can bid higher and higher and higher, and that's what you're seeing. And it doesn't matter if I look, you know, at, at a, a, any of these indices. Really, um, will show. You see, this is even even more. They'll show you. They'll show you a simple uh, um, picture. Uh, this is not obviously gold's slower. You know, it's more stable. But this is, this is about condos. It's not about necessarily the stock market. But what you see in the condos is more or less the same picture. Now they go slightly slower up, but not really. If you zoom in, you can see the actual the the appreciation is unbelievable. Think about a percent a month of the typical condos that cost six hundred thousand um, dollars. Six hundred thousand. So that means uh, one percent will be six thousand dollars times twelve seventy two thousand dollars. So those six hundred sixty thousand dollar average shown a condo should be seven hundred seven twenty by next year. Uh, that brings us to another problem that less and less people can afford it, and at some point we want to see an equilibrium. But if there is so much money available to people, then they're just going to keep spending because that's where they're going to bring the money in. Um, logically, you would have seen days on market slower and slower and slower, and that will tell you the price is too high. But right now, we're not seeing this. Anything that goes in the market is just being kidnapped, just, just snatched right away. And that means there's a lot more money available. Once you see this thing here, th these days on market, the average days on market, when you see this, when you see this hitting 40 and 50 and 60, then price is going to drop, but not before. Because if somebody needs to sell and, and the real estate agent tells them, okay, put it at 900,000, you know, 600,000 square feet, 1,500, and nobody wants to buy it, and the guy has to sell, you have to sell it, then you're going to start reducing your price. Okay, you got to start reducing your price. By the way, I'm not. TorontoCondosForSale.com. Uh, this site here, that's one of my sites, it will show you, you can actually search, if, if you're still with me here, uh, but I'll show you a trick, if you still lasted the 17 minutes we're in here, this will actually show you prices down or up, there's a little, uh, there's a little uh, marker, so you see here, but once in a while you'll see these little arrows, and these arrows will show you what came up or down, and you can, do, you can do reduced listings. There's other ways to, to see reduced listing, but this site will definitely do it for you. Just got to zoom in and keep digging in. Okay, that's it for today, my friends. Uh, once again, I urge you to go to condocorona.com. It's going to flip to this site. That's the landing page. Download the PDF. Okay, it's free. If you, you don't need to register. Nobody knows that you even signed for it. There's hundreds of people use this site so far. You can get the updates here. You can watch the videos here. And most importantly, you can hit any of these tags here to see what's going on and get the latest news. And you don't have to work that hard for it. Just click here and then click on the latest. And it'll show you everything that is available. And that's Twitter. And now, once again, Twitter also filters the information for you. Uh, the fact that I'm not even allowed to mention some websites is because Twitter doesn't like them. So, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of politics behind it. There's a lot of powers pulling behind. So never, ever forget that any media that you consume, and it doesn't matter what media it is, it's filtered. It's all filtered. So you're smart people, you're intelligent people, you can make your own decisions based on the information. But one thing that I would, you know, you don't, you don't even know these numbers are real. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. If you say that Corona is not as bad as flu, then why are all the quarantines? And why are people dying? And why is it in the news? So there has to be something here that we, we, not, we don't know about. Um, definitely disinfect anything you can. Uh, get yourself the news. Um, if you want to know anything about real estate, I'm still here. We're still making deals. <laughs> it's not going to stop. I don't think it's going to actually end. I think we're still going to have a really good year. I think everything will come back to normal. We're just going to have to learn to live with it. Like to ha We have to learn to live with everything else. Okay? So that's it, my friend. Yossi Kaplan, thank you everyone everyone for watching, subscribing, liking, disliking, put your comments. I really, really appreciate it. And it doesn't matter if the comment is pro or against. The, you took the energy, you took the time, you took the effort, and I thank you for this. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel right here, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Spread out the good word and stock up. Thank you very much. Yossi out.